Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Me Rejuvenated Monday where I believe that Mondays should be optional. And so today it was pretty optional. I just basically, um, I don't know, I just slaved today, like in the house, cleaning up and things in order and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I guess through the time where I was with my daughter and, you know, she was sick for like five months and I was trying to help her and trying to help myself. And by the time that I got home in the evening, I was like, praise God. God is continuing to heal her. Okay. So today I thought that I would talk about different kinds of suffering. Now, all suffering is not the same. Okay. So. If you want to hear that spill, stay by and try to stay to the end um, because I have some information that I want to share. Okay, so try to stay to the end. So, okay, so my name is Sheila Rollins and I am the founder of Sheila Ministries Entertainment and Associates Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being our higher power and also what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our cleanliness, our wholeness, our completeness, those things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Jesus Christ. And so in order for us to get all that he's offered, we need to be obedient to his word. And I encourage the King James Version of the Bible because that's what he encouraged me. And the Ten Commandments, including the Fourth Commandment, where he admonishes us to keep the Seventh-day Sabbath. So, the arrow next to it, the title, the, the, the arrow there, you can check that out, and I'll have all the information in there. If you want to make a comment, leave a topic, say hello, just scroll down below, and you can do either one you want, okay? So, okay, so check out my other YouTube and the playlist on both YouTubes. It's a lot, lot there, okay? So anyhow, so I was in Sabbath school on Sabbath, and we were talking a little bit about, um, like, f afflictions. And I was saying that there's there's one particular thing, and this would be the thing that, stay to the end, and we'll talk about that. One particular thing that suffer, separates all suffering, okay? So you have suffering where maybe in sickness, all right, where it just doesn't seem like you ever knew you were healed or, you know, you're not going to ever be healed. And it just seems like you're going to be sick all the time. You don't even remember being well. I've been there. Anybody been there? Comment down below. And then there is like, not your death, of course, because you wouldn't be able to talk about that, but dealing with death, a type of suffering as dealing with death of loved ones and family members and friends and, you know, dealing with death. And then we have the thing of where we struggle with like, say, unemployment, you know, other social situations. Like yesterday I was dealing with a, a person that was trying to set me up to offend me or, yeah, to, um, you know, yeah, to offend me. And, um, you know, it's a lot of different kinds of suffering, okay? Um, people suffer with like different kinds of abuses, you know, uh, verbal abuse and sexual abuse and abandonment and rejection and hatred and, you know, God, people talking about you and, you know, none of these things feels good. Okay. Um, and the way that I look at it, like there's a type of suffering that we do outside of the kingdom of God. Okay, where, you know, I know in my life, there was a point in my life where I wasn't trying to serve God. I knew about God. Okay, I knew of him. I didn't really have a relationship, but I knew of him. However, it's like I had my own agenda, not knowing that the consequences of having my own agenda will follow and it would soon follow the actions that I was committing. And so, um, you know, you have suffering, you know, where a lot of times, like when we live our life 
for the enemy. You know, I mean, we dance and we party and we drink and we use substances and we sex in and we having babies and stuff outside of marriage and sometimes miscarriages and stuff. It's just a whole lot of suffering, okay? And so it seems like sometimes that there's not an end to it, okay? And so being said, I just said that about the end. Don't forget, stay to the end because I'm going to talk about the difference in all suffering, okay? So, all right. So, if you haven't already become a part of this YouTube family, please do so. You see the word subscribe, touch it, a bell will come up. When it does, touch the bell. Then you'll see the word all. Hit all, and that way, every time I do a new upload, a new video, you know, new content, you'll get a notification, Okay. And then if you really think a lot of the videos, then I would ask you to share them, you know, and as you share them, I ask you to encourage subscription. All right. And also, you know, if you see anything you like, you hear anything you like, you think this is a good channel, please give me some thumbs up. Thumbs up helps the YouTube. It lets me know that what you like, and it gives me the confidence to keep putting out more videos okay and so also remember my food uh fundraisers okay um i do vegan meat alternatives and size non-dairy ice cream and other desserts um check facebook out for the four different meat alternatives that i made this past thanksgiving you want to check that out okay um it was amazing it was really really amazing Okay, and so basically, when I look at suffering, I'm going to like it until like, like myself, how when I was making the vegan food, now I would say, let's say on Tuesday, and people were picking up their orders on Wednesday. And so as I was, you know, looking at the ingredients, you know what I mean? I had my celery and my onions and my carrots and, you know, um, the broth that I had made and the different various seasonings and stuff, you know? And I said to myself, like, I'm tired, you know what I mean? I got to be up on my feet a good while. I have nobody to help me here with these dishes. You know, I need these dishes cleaned up. But in one sense, I'm enjoying myself. In another sense, I'm saying, what in the world? This time tomorrow, this stuff needs to be complete. I have no idea what it's going to look like. And I say that because Satan always throwing a monkey wrench in the things that we want to do that's right, you know, that is wholesome, okay? And so I'm looking at it like, God, I'm trusting in you that while I said for the people to, you know, like ask, you know, they have a time or whatever to pick up their product, that I'm trusting in you to help make it right. Okay. So it brings me, if you haven't figured out yet, the thing that is the thing that separates all suffering. Okay. Comment down below if you think that you know what it is. Okay. So the day came and the products was like, da -da, da -da. it surprised me. Okay. It was God. God did greater than I would ever expect. It was awesome. So, okay. So basically it is the end result of suffering. Okay. Now with Satan, when we live our life, uh, not according to the word of God, the will of God, the 10 commandments, you know, um, keeping the seventh day Sabbath included, you know, dressing like you eating the way he wants us to do, or even having the mind of Christ, and let's just say we lived our life a certain way and God is teaching us and getting us to see that the way that we live is not the way that he wants us to do. And little by little, we're making these conversions, okay? God knows the difference. Like we're struggling, we're learning, you know, we're trying, we're not giving up. Then we don't, he, we don't even care. We're just going to do whatever we want to do, right or wrong. And so basically, when we suffer for the kingdom of heaven's sake, there is 
a crown of glory for us. However, when we're suffering and we're not living our life the way God will want us to live, then we get the consequences of that plus hell's fire. No middle ground. It ain't nowhere for us to stay. You know, what the Bible says about, you know, what Christ is going to, with the brightness of, of his coming, he's going to destroy the wicked. And those that's, you know, with God, the dead will be awakened. Those righteous living will meet together and go to heaven with God. No place for nobody else to stay, okay? You either with Christ or you against Christ. And so with that, I would say, don't give up. No matter where you find yourself in a road to godliness, do not give up. As you continue on to get better, you know, for example, when I need it, you know, need it together, you know, that protein that I was using and putting those seasons in and rubbing those seasons on it and stuff, you know, kept doing that, kept doing it, you know, wrapping it around maybe the, um, the little, uh, the sticks, uh, what, what kind of, what did they have them? Uh, I can't even think of it. The sticks that I use, I can't even think of it. Um, but anyhow, I use them as like bones. All right. Um, you know, to just, just keep going. What would it have been like if, when I was making the food for Thanksgiving for my patrons, had I given up, they would have never got their product. I wouldn't have made the money for the nonprofit. Okay. So, we can't give up. We must keep going forward because at the end, you know, we live in our life for God. There's a reward for us and it's a great reward and we get to be with God forevermore. However, those that's on the fence that haven't made a decision yet, you know, it's kind of like straddling in before. We got to get off the fence and come God's way because if you're not for him, you're automatically against him. It's no middle ground. And even for those that has not answered their calling, this is your opportunity to answer your calling to for godliness. You know, that you can live the life that God had designed in his mind for you to live. It is not too late, okay? God loves us. He wants us to be with him. So, like I said, all suffering is not the same. How can you tell? What's the end of the suffering? Are we suffering for righteousness sake? Or are we suffering because of some evil choice that we made, you know, that would get us bad consequences and hell's fire? Okay. All suffering is not the same. So basically, all, that's all I have for you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next YouTube. Now, unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.